Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Open up your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. 
another day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We can't thank you enough, Lord, but we're going to keep on thanking you anyway. 
standing on our faith and standing on your promises. Yes, Lord, we know that in you we have our being. Our purpose is to give you praise, to give you worship, to be obedient to your word. We thank you, Lord, for each breath that we take. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us day in and day out. And Heavenly Father, we ask that our offering to you today will be pleasing. We know we can never do more than you can expect, but Heavenly Father, you know our hearts. We love you, Lord. We need you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen.
our soul. Yes, God is real, for He has won and made me whole. Mm, your love for me, you're mm, like pure gold. I know He's real. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for being real in our soul. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love you, Lord. Oh, how I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Because if it had not been for you, Lord, that was on our side, we wouldn't be here today. And if you had not built the house, we would have labored in vain. But we say thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Have your way today. Heal, deliver, and set free. Show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, we count it all joy. Hallelujah. We count it all joy that you have chosen us in you, even before the foundation of the world. We say thank you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It could have been the other way. But Lord, I say thank you. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm, yes, God is real. He real in my soul. I know he real, for he has watched and made me whole. Oh, his love for me, his love for me, it like pure gold. Like gold. I know he real. Come on, put your hands together. If you know the Lord is real in your soul, come on and bless him. Thank the praise and worship. Amen. But at closing, hallelujah. Glory to God. Certainly honor the Lord today and to all the people of God in your perspective places. Name of the Lord. Amen. Y'all do me a favor. Just look at somebody and tell them who you are. Just, just, just tell them your name. Just now, everybody did it. Everybody, everybody did that. Amen. Now you can say your name was called in church. All right. Amen. So we we thank the Lord. We we thank the Lord for everybody. Certainly to First Lady Dwight in the name of the Lord. Thank God for her, sweetheart. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all that you've done, your labor of love, and how you ministered to us. And God has not forgotten. All right. All right, you had your Bibles? I want to talk to you today from this subject, undeserved favor. Undeserved favor. How many know favor ain't fair? Amen. Amen. Just look at somebody. Don't get mad with me because I'm blessed. Amen. 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 Just, just get in on the blessing. Amen. God has no respect of person. Amen. If he blessed once, he'll bless twice. Amen. Hallelujah. He's just that good. We serve an awesome God. 
an awesome guy. I, I want to call you your attention to the book of Genesis and to The thought shall come from the sixth chapter. I'm not going to read all of it, but I want to start at the fifth verse down to verse eight. And uh, St. John, the third chapter, verse 17. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord, and he changed his mind, in other words, that he had made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. God said, I will destroy, destroy man, whom I have created from the face of the earth. Both man and beast and creeping things and the fowls of the air. It repented me that I have made them. But nor found grace in the eyes of the Lord. But nor found grace in the midst of chaos. God looked at the chaos that was in the world. But he saw one man whose heart was for him, toward him. And Noah found grace. John's gospel said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Undeserved favor. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And once again, look at somebody sitting next to you across the aisle and tell them favor ain't fair. God saw the wickedness of mankind. But his love for man was beyond man's comprehension. The Bible says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's very unique that God sees mankind differently than man sees himself. God has a love for his creation. He has a love for what he created. But yet man in his determination to go against the creator. And even to the point that man sometimes think that he is the creator. He created idols, bow down and worship to wood and stone, bow down and worship things that has no eye, but they can't see, create ears on them, but they can't hear. His imagination of his heart was running wickedly. But I don't want us to get too mad at that generation because the Bible says in Matthew 24, so it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the coming of the Son of Man. We can see the parallel of wickedness in our society. Families against one another. Fathers against daughters. Sons against mothers. and Children against each other. Men. 
killing their own families and committing suicide. We don't want to talk about those issues because that makes us nervous, but these are the times we're living in. We frown on those who try to invest in the generation behind us sometime. But somebody has to take the time to remind this world that God is still in charge. Even in the midst of wickedness, Paul said, there are many going to fall away from the truth. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The Bible said in the last days in present time shall come that men shall be lovers of themselves. Proud. And boastful. Forgetting the natural affection, turning toward each other. We don't want to preach that no more. Because we want folk to think it's all right. But the Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is reproach to any people. But God did not send Jesus in the world to condemn you or I or anyone. But the Bible said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus says that I am the door. If anyone enter, not by this door, it's a thief and a robber. He said, no man can come to the Father except by me, he said. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. So he said, you can come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. He said, I'll give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's letting us know how much he cares. It was in John's gospel that John writes to us and tells us about the, the very heart of God. He says uh, that was the true light that came into the world which lighted every man cometh into the world. He said, I was in the world and the world was made by him but the world didn't know him. That made me think about one of the Old Testament writers when he says, I was in the presence of God but I didn't know it. He said, the Lord was in this place, but I didn't know it was him. I don't want to come to church Sunday after Sunday, Bible study after Bible study, and miss the presence of God. I want to know. I want to know. The one of Paul said that I might know him. The Bible said he came unto his own, but his own received him not. I came to the one that I chosen to put my law in, but they didn't receive me. But then he said, but as many as receive him to them he gave power to become sons of God hallelujah you were chosen in him before the foundation of the world hallelujah can I do a sidebar on you for a moment I know we say we are saved to go to heaven. 
But if God just saved you to go to heaven, how come you are not there? Looked like to me he would have just saved you and took you there. But he left us here for a purpose and a reason so the world would know who he is. Now we sons of God, we heirs of him, join heirs with Christ, all because of grace. You didn't deserve to be saved no more than the next person. That's why Paul said, judge not, that you be not judged. He said, condemn not, that you be not condemned. Because if we're in, his will is only because undeserved favor. If God wanted to get rid of you, he could have got rid of you while you were messed up. Tired of folk blaming God for their wickedness. How you gonna blame my God? Cause you wanna act like you ain't got no sense. Don't you know you the only creature he gave the right to bless his name? The birds don't argue. No, they don't. If you want to get a good fight, come to church. We sit in church and fight one another, but then we say we say. We condemn one another. We crucify each other. We holler and scream at each other. But we say we sweetly say. Y'all excuse me, my pastor moment is here. We used to say, I'm sweetly saved. I'm on the way to heaven and enjoying the trip. But all stuff I see going on, I don't know if I want to be on your bus. We are to love one another. In the midst of wickedness, God charge a man. Paul picks it up and says, therefore, there is now no condemnation. Them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. If you walk after the flesh, you can't please it. For God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship is more than the meek preaching and clapping. Worship has got to do more with how you live. The Bible said whatever I've done in the dark, it's going to come to the light. Just because you didn't see it. Scripture reminds me that God said the night is just like the day to him. There's nothing here. So it behooves us to get ourselves together. Because we're living in these last days because we can see the parallel between the, what Jesus said the days of Noah. They were married and giving in marriage. They were doing everything they could do under the sun. They call sin righteous. They call righteous wrong. And all oh, y'all ain't going to help me. And if you speak against it, you're wrong. Well, this one day, I'm just going to have to be wrong. But as many as receive him, to them he give power to become sons of God. And even to them who believe on his name, isn't God so compassionate? Which were born, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. We must be born again. That's this grace he brought to us. Nicodemus in all his educational mindset and all his, his law and all his ability to quote the law came to Jesus at night. He didn't want his peers to see him. 
question Jesus. We know you man sent from God. Because nobody can do the miracles you do. What must I do to be saved? And Jesus said you must be born again. Of the water and of the spirit. Nicodemus want to know how can it be? I got to go back in my mind. He said, no, no, Nicodemus, you messing up. You thinking flesh. It's the spirit that God wants to redeem. Our spirit man was contaminated in the conscience. That's where Noah, in the midst of a wicked society, began to preach righteousness. Can I do another sidebar? We come and we want to hear a new sermon every Sunday. But Noah preached the same message for 120 years. It's going to rain. They've never seen it before. We've been preaching Jesus is coming, but nobody want to believe it. People are taking it for granted. But just when you think not, he's going to knock on the door. I can only imagine after 25 years, his son must have said, Dad ain't got no new sermon. 75 years later, he's still preaching the same message. Lord, we know what bishop going to preach this Sunday. He preached it last Sunday. Come to Bible. Oh, child, he ain't doing but preaching the same thing in Bible study. I heard it Sunday. So I'm, I don't want to hear that no more. Can you imagine the consistency, the commitment you got to have for God to live holy in spite of people, what people are saying? Don't you know he was criticized, but he stood his ground? He was talked about, but he kept living his righteousness. He kept preaching, it's going to rain. He was building something they'd never seen. Now notice now, he built a, a, an ark on dry ground. He didn't go to the ocean to build it. He built it on dry ground. In a desert. He builds an ark. Sometimes you got to know that God has spoken to you. You got to know that you walking in this grace of God. You got to know you got a relationship with him. Come hell or high water, I'm going to stay saved. I'm going to do what's right. You may not shout today, but you'll get some good news. Law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Jesus brought us grace and truth. We got to stand on the word of God. If you know God has liberated you from sin, stand strong. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The only way you can do it, you got to work on your conscience. We don't like that. We like the feel good gospel. We like the feel good service. I know I like it too. But sometimes you got to sometimes you got to get down to the the, the part that make you feel uncomfortable. Hallelujah. We make you search your soul. The Bible says, examine yourself to see whether you're in the faith or not. Quit depending on other folk to tell you whether you're saved or not. You ought to know whether you're saved. You ought to know you got the Holy Ghost. If you're not sure, the Bible says we have not because we ask not. Just ask the Lord. He freely give you. He said, if an earthly father know how to give gifts to his earthly son, how much more the heavenly father will give the gift to those who ask him? That's favor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ooh. Can I do one more sidebar? See, we got the idea God ain't going to bless you 
till you get it right. That's a lie the devil put out. Check the record. When God got to Paul, he was hot to kill for. Yes, he was. He riding on that horse. He had a letter. He going to get you, man. He's coming to get you. You sitting up in this church all dressed up and pretty. Yeah, he come. When God told Ananias to pray for him, he said, uh-uh, not him. Y'all know God done told y'all to pray for certain people and you turn him down. You know you turn him down. No, Lord, huh? she ain't going to get saved. No, not him. No, that ain't nothing but a devil. No. And you know, he'll woke you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. You sleepy? And he done dropped that demon on your spirit? You know you're supposed to be praying for him? No, Lord. Then you just, you, you want to know quick, bless him, Lord. God told Hananias, go down there and pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for him. No, no, not him. He come here to mess me up. He come to kill us. Then the Lord said, behold, he prayed. God can take the worst person in the world. Somebody you can't stand when you see him coming. And put a prayer in him. And then God will tell you, go witness to him. Go tell him how much I love him. And yet we sitting up in church with our prejudice. I'm sorry. Attitude toward people. Because we don't find out something about them. Uh, you ought to be glad God know how to keep some secrets. Saints, if we're going to make this trip, we're going to have to get it together. We're gonna have to, you have to understand, ain't nobody in here perfect. We just saved. Ain't nobody in here perfect. You want a perfect church? Everybody leave, I'm going to be right behind you. <laughs> ain't nobody in here. That's the only way you're going to be perfect. But in the midst of wickedness, in the midst of men being everything they want to do in the imagination of their hearts, nor found grace. He found something that made a difference. And the book is written of him to remind us that he had great faith. It takes faith to do what God called you to do. When you know you're going to be criticized. It takes great faith to do what God called you to do. When you know you, folk ain't going to like you. They're going to call you crazy. They're going to name names you never heard of before. But you got to know how to stand. What the Bible says is, after you've done all you can do to stand, stand in the house. Stand firm. Understand that God has called us to righteousness. He's called us, man, to walk a certain way of life. That men will know who he is. It's no accident you, you and I are still here. As Paul said, by the grace of God. He said, that I am, that I am. It's only through God's grace that I'm still standing. I've messed up many times on the journey. I wish somebody would just look at somebody and tell them, I can't tell you how many times I've messed up. But I'm still here. So if he left me here, I ought to be able to tell him thank you. If he left me here, I ought to be able to give him some praise. If he left me here, I ought to be able to forget about who's sitting next to me and just tell God thank you. Hallelujah. We have no right to come in the house and judge anybody. That's why the Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. 
come into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. You don't come here to bless a man. You come here to bless God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give men more accolade than we give the father. Hallelujah. Folk running after title. Titles ain't gonna mean nothing if you don't have no relationship. Hallelujah. You need a relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. What well, the Bible says, uh, the scripture says, for he who knew no sin became sin for us. That's favor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Paul said, who would die for such an unrighteous man? Who would die for a sinner? Even a friend would have a hard time dying for a good friend. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let something break out. You, you find some folk who going to stand. Folks start running. You start running too. You don't know what you're running for. By the time you give out a breath, you ask, what you running for? <laughs> and that's, that's the way the enemy got a lot of us. Our, our faith is so shaky. Our commitment is so shaky. As soon as we hear something, we don't even know what's going on. We, we, we just panic. The Bible said, he you knew no sin came sin for us. Hallelujah. I can't, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm about to finish. But the Bible said, for the grace of God, which bringeth salvation, has appeared unto all men. Christ came and died for the sins of the world. In the midst of society, he knew they were going to crucify him, but he still went to the cross. He knew they were going to spit on him, but he still went to the cross. He knew it would put thorns. It was going to beat him till his flesh is open. Pierce him in the side. He still went to that cross. But why he was on the cross? kingdom remember me I don't know if you had your wits in of walking with God you want to throw up your hands and leave but before you leave you ought to ask him remember me he came into the world to save Paul said to save sinners he said Paul said I'm chief he said I was a chief of sinners some of y'all looking like y'all been good at two shoes. Hmm? Y'all look at somebody and say, you ought to tell them I wasn't no good at two shoes. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing because you you don't want folk to know how, how you were. But you ought to be, listen, you, that, that, that's a chance you should have been dancing. Because God took a worse person and, and saved you. Fill you with his presence. And you let folk intimidate your prayer? Lord have mercy. <laughs> you talk in favor now. Some of us, even when we grew up in church, we were sneaky. Some of us were sneaky saints. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Your mom and dad took you to Bible study, but you got got age, you got sneaky. But God didn't cut you off in your sneakiness. And then we come to church and act sophisticated. But we can go to the football game and get crazy. If any time we ought to be crazy, we ought to be in the house. Any time you ought to be not ashamed to give God some glory, it ought to be in the house. 
if any time you think about the favor of God, hallelujah, think about how many folk done died in accidents, but you still survive. Think about how many folk, hallelujah, done, done dodged the bullets, but you still survive. Hallelujah. I'm not downing them, but I just want you to understand favor ain't fair. God still favored you. And some of you young people looking at me, you know you shouldn't have passed that grade, but the teacher favored you. Huh? Come on, some of you knew. Come on, can I be real? Can I no. say so y'all still looking at me? Let me be a little bit more real. Some of you got 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 razors on your job. You ain't cause you work hard, cause God favored. You knew you were lazy ducking. God just favored you. Then you came to church act like you were so holy. You knew you wasn't holy. God just favored you. Hallelujah. We got about a few more minutes here. Somebody ought to have a praise. Somebody ought to have a praise. God told a man to build a ship to save folk, but they wouldn't believe him. God told a man to go out, start a church. Put a building up, invite folk in to teach them, tell them I'm coming, but they won't believe. The church ain't a place where we judge folk. The church ought to be a place where folk can come and feel love. God already know your mess. Hallelujah. The problem with church today, we, don't, we too much on social media. We need to be on knee media. We need to be on knee, kneeology. Huh? Glory to God. You want to tell some business? Tell it on the altar. Glory to God. I wish we grow to the place where when, when we have, we're on film and we, we film and live. Yeah, the camera be on me, but I'd love to put the camera on all of you. I know you ain't coming to church then. Because you don't want your friend to see how crazy you are. But somebody need to know you've been redeemed. Somebody need to know you've been born again. Somebody need to know that you found favor. I wish I had about 20 folk to jump up and say, favor. I found favor. I didn't get saved because I was good. I got saved because I found favor. Hallelujah. Wave at somebody and holler favor. Favor on your life. Favor on your children. Favor. Got nothing to do with how good you were. No. Wasn't none good but the Father. Jesus said that. So if we save, it's favor. If you're breathing, it's favor. If you're walking, talking, it's favor. If you're in your right mind, favor. Hallelujah. Whoo. Come on, lift your hands to him. It's favor. The Bible says this. The Bible says eight souls. Hold, hold on, Brother Brown. Hold on, Brother Brown. The Bible says eight souls were saved during the flood in the ark. Eight souls. Eight is the number of new beginnings. And what God is saying to the church, I don't care what background you come from today, the day is your new beginning. I'm not concerned about what you did last night. I'm concerned about where you've been yesterday. Don't come tell. I don't want to know. But God is saying right now, the day is new beginnings. Because favor ain't fair. It 
ain't fair. It's favor. Now, Brother Brown, you can come on. Favor. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for your family members. That they will understand they're in the midst of favor. And they can receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their person to save you. Why? Because he didn't come in the world to condemn it. He came in the world that we might be saved. That we could have eternal life. And he left us here to be a light to the rest of them. To be a testimony to others. If God can save that wretched like Dwight, he can save me. If God can make him a preacher, him, that's why we are here. You're not here to look good. You're not here to get titles. You're here to shine. That others can be saved. There's one. There's one. Come on. Come on. Some of you, some of you, been 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 backing up on your ministry, been backing up on your your gift, because of what folk gonna say. I pray that God give you the boldness. Don't worry about men. It ain't who men please or who God proves. The Bible said not who men approve, who God approves. Quit trying to get men approval. We so frickle it's a shame. We used to say I love you today and hate you tomorrow, but we can love you at 2 o'clock and two minutes later we can't stand you. That's flesh. When you're born of God, you love at all times. You cover your brother. You cover your sister. You pray for them. They got struggles like everyone else. So I pray for you. I pray that you, you stand fast on what God says to you. God ain't going to take his word back. What God said over your life, he's going to do it. You just got to trust him. If that's another. Hallelujah. Don't sit there with that guilt. This is the new beginning. Pastor, if I walk up there, they don't think I did something wrong. They're going to think it anyway. If you dance up here, they're going to think something wrong. That's the natural mind. That's the natural man. But when you walk with God in the spirit, I see the good in you. I know what God can do. And I trust God. Hallelujah. I trust the power of God. The spirit of God is working in you. Anybody else want prayer? You need to come quickly. I'm not going to hold much longer. Money in the bank, cars in the driveway, I've got a house I can claim, clothes in my closet, I've got a bed for my head, shoes for my feet, I've got. Maybe you need somebody to walk with you. Tell them walk with me. And if I was just Say it's all good, but I know better. It's all God, but I know better. It's all God. Those at the altar, just lift your hands to it. Money in the bank. Oh. 
was in the driveway I got a house I can claim clothes in my closet ministers y'all go forward ministers ministers y'all go forward and shoes shoes on my feet I've got breath in my body and if I was just in This is you. But I know better. But I know better. But I know better. 
He's your cover. The door is going to open for you. That you least expect. You don't see it. Noah never saw rain. But he built the ark. You don't see it. But built. It's here. I know God doesn't put it there. So built. You've covered it. You've dreamed it. You've read it. And I've been around you. You've covered it. That's the fear. The fear is not being covered. Don't fear. You covered it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. His steps are being ordered by you. You have not given up the spirit of the but of power and of love and of silence. I want to say something to all of you as I, I, I speak to my brother. Don't you know the apostles prayed for boldness? Because they had fear 
and apprehension about certain things. They had to pray that they be bold enough to say what God wanted them to say. Now, if they had to pray for boldness, how much more we need to? You covered. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. You cover. You don't see it, but you cover. Father, in Jesus' name, touch these young minds. That God, they will take you at heart. They'll be mighty. Men of valor for you. Thank you, Lord. Not just another young man and walking among his peers, but let your anointing flow through them that their peers may see the light that you have placed in them be shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, brighter to the perfect day. I know they don't see it now, but they will. It will flow out of their bellies. Hallelujah. What you're doing today, you will find out 